Today, we are going to be trying out Lucky Beauty. Lucky Beauty was kind enough to send me the entire collection, yung six product and lahat ng mga shades. Yung 38-piece release for this launch, kaya naman today gawa natin ang swatches and also first impression. And I'm very sure na marami na kayo napanood na video nito sa TikTok kasi I believe yung mga nagpunta ng event nakuha agad yung product. I was actually invited but unfortunately hindi ako available kaya medyo late na dumating sa akin to. First up, we have the Lucky Beauty Brow Grip. This one cost 299 pesos. And yan, parang paddle brush yung applicator niya. It doesn't have scent which is great. And for this, basically yung claims niya is that kaya niya ma-achieve yung laminated style ng brows. And this one actually na test ko na siya sa akin tsaka sa sister ko. By the way, naka foundation na nga pala ako pero hanggang dito lang kasi alam ko maglalagay tayo ng pangkilay kaya in-skip ko muna yung forehead. And yung first or initial thought ko is that ang dami niyang nilalabas na product. Which I'm assuming is because of the shape nung pinaka-applicator niya since hindi siya round. Make sure na i-scrape off niyo yung excess kasi may tendency medyo, you know, maparami nga yung product. Especially for a beginner, baka ma-overwhelm kayo. And yan, as you guys can see, parang namumuti siya kapag ka-initial application. But you don't need to worry kasi kapag ka natuyo naman siya, nagiging clear siya. And then to laminate the brows, all you have to do is i-flip siya dun sa may flat na area and pwede nyo siyang ipang-press. But I'm not gonna do that because that's not the kind of brows that I go for lately. Gusto ko yung medyo fluffy, so what I'm gonna do is talagang, ayan, ibabrush ko lang siya ng light-handed. And look at that, after a few minutes of brushing, sobrang fluffy ng tignan ng brows. This is how my brow look like with and without the product. So yeah, for me, formula-wise, I really like it. I mean, for its price, definitely sulit siya. I mean, it does the job really well and it kinda remind me of Got To Be Glued, but thinner version, parang ganun. Great for beginners as well kasi hindi siya mabilis mag-set. Although, personally, sa akin, guys, ha, mas prefer ko yung mabilis since sanay na ako. But if hindi pa kayo masyadong sanay sa paggawa ng brows like this, then definitely this is great na pang-start. Although, I'm not gonna lie, ha, I just wish na sana yung applicator niya mas stiff kasi di ba mabilis siya mag-bend. And feeling ko kapag ka pinang-laminate siya minsan, parang ang hirap since nga malambot. But of course, that's just me, so yeah. Anyway, this is my brows done. I really love how fluffy it looks like. And also, hindi siya crusty, hindi siya flaky, hindi siya nabubuo-buo. And again, nagamit ko na nga sa sister ko to. And I'd say around 4 to 5 hours, nahohold pa rin yung kilay niya. Hindi bumabagsak. And kung ano yung shape niya nung natuyo, ganun pa rin siya. For concealer, we have this one, which is called Serum Concealer. 349 pesos yung price nito, and it comes in 9 shades. And for this, yung claims nila is, it does it all, from contouring and concealing to brightening and hydrating. It also says here na meron siyang cooling effect, and buildable yung coverage niya, medium to full. Applicator-wise, it's very different, kasi parang pang dot yung style niya. Hindi siya yung typical na doe foot applicator. These are the complete swatches. If we have the same skin tone, ito yung tatlong shade na mag-work sa atin. This one is porcelain and yung second shade is vanilla. And both of them pwedeng pang highlight or pang brighten. And this one naman is called chai and pwede siyang pang spot conceal or pang all over the face. Slightly darker lang siya kapag ka pinang all over the face. So if slightly darker kayo sa akin, then for sure, mas close sa skin tone nyo. I'm gonna use the shade porcelain for my under eye. And of course, as always, sa isang side lang muna. And true to its claim, meron nga siyang cooling effect. Kapag ka-dinot mo yung pinaka-applicator sa face, mafe-feel mo yung cool na sensation. But it's not too much. In fairness, ang ganda ng shade for brightening the under eye. Coverage-wise, I'd say medium. Although you have to be careful nga lang kasi if you have dry patches like sa akin since dry yung area na to ng face ko, yung sa nose, na-notice ko na nagkikling siya sa mga dry patch. Kaya I suggest na kung gagamitin nyo to, make sure na well hydrated kayo or kaya nag-scrub ng face. That way, talagang smooth yung finish. But look at this area, diba? Definitely na-brighten talaga siya. Mas maaliwalas tignan. Formula is really good. It's blendable. It's lightweight. Definitely feels like nothing. Okay na okay to kung mahilig kayo sa no-makeup-makeup look. According to them, pwede din gamitin ito for contouring. But to be honest, I don't see myself using any of these shades for contouring. Masyado kasing warm for my liking. But from top to bottom, we have the shades Honey, Latte, and Biscuit. Again, too warm for my liking. For bronzing, it might work. Hopefully in the future, mag-release pa sila ng shade. Mga in-between and also deeper. But for starter and also for initial launch, definitely not bad. This one I'm holding is the Lucky Beauty Blush and Lip Cream. This one comes in 9 shades. It contains 8 grams and 349 pesos yung price. Packaging is so cool cute. I mean, it's not unique kasi may ibang brand na ganito yung style. International, but still, super happy kasi hindi siya yung typical na stick type. Honestly, scent-wise, I'm not the biggest fan kasi parang amay karayola siya. Swirl natin siya. This is how it looks like kapag ka-heavily swatch. And, ganito naman siya kapag ka-nirub. It's very creamy tapos yung pagka-emollient niya, saktong-sakto lang. Hindi naman siya yung sobrang oily. These are the complete swatches.
This one is delicate and ito yung gagamitin ko sa cheeks. I mean, you guys know, ito yung klase ng blush color na favorite ko. Kaya, of course, dito tayo. Ang dami niya napipick up dahil nga creamy yung formula. So, idub natin sa likod ng kamay. And what I'm gonna do is, ipipress ko lang siya. And I think medyo kakapalan ko so that mas kita siya, especially sa camera. But of course, cream naman to so mabilis is sheer out. It's really nice. Ang ganda ng kulay. This is like the perfect everyday pink. Sobrang natural. Kapag ka dinadab yung brush, mabilis siyang i-disperse. And maayos. Hindi na mo-move yung foundation. Very subtle looking but definitely buildable naman siya. So if you want to amp it up, of course, pwede yung i-layer. Ang ganda ng pagkapula niya. Para ka lang nainitan ganun. She's giving sweet girl vibes. Although I'm not gonna lie ha, and I'm gonna be brutally honest, there's nothing special about the product. But it's nice. And this is the kind of product na magagamit mo everyday. So this one is Coco. And subukan natin siyang pang warm up ng face. Although I know na medyo reddish siya but nandito na rin naman tayo. So... Diba? I-try na natin. And then, mag-start tayo dito sa temple. Actually, you know what? Pwede siya. I feel like, even though reddish siya, as long as light-handed ka, kayang-kaya. Tsaka since nga yung formula niya is on the emollient side, mabilis namang i-shear out so hindi nakakatakot. Kaya hindi ka rin ma-overwhelm. And also, kapag ka naman kumapal, diba? Pwede mong i-layer with the foundation. For powder, we have the Lucky Beauty Skin Blur Powder Foundation. 549 pesos yung price nito. It comes in 9 shades, and very inclusive, and 8 grams yung content niya. This one as well, packaging-wise, I'm very impressed kasi sobrang feminine, it's girly, ang sarap sa mata. For this, coverage-wise, buildable and medium to full. Sabi din dito, hindi nakakakalag ng pores, it lasts all day, and hindi nakakadry ng skin. Scent-wise, very typical na powder foundation scent. This is how it looks like, and in fairness, hindi naman siya gritty. These are the complete swatches. In fairness sa color range, marami nga siya makikater na skin tone and yung darkest shade actually passable siyang bronzer if fair to medium complexion. To start, I'm going to be using a brush and yung shade na gamit ko is si Ivory. And ang gawin natin is ipang set natin siya ng under eye. It's definitely blurring although ayun nga lang since nga may ano ka dito diba dry patches it looks dry. Which is of course again my skin not the product. Lagay din tayo dito para makita nyo yung difference. This area looks so freaking nice. Blurred talaga siya and ang smooth tignan. We also have a puff. By the way, nasa ilalim siya ng compact. And of course, gamitin din natin siya. Ayan, iset natin yung ibang area ng face. Definitely, meron siyang coverage kasi ayan o, oh, naglighten na or nabawasan yung blush. Feels very lightweight as well. Hindi siya yung klase ng powder na parang suffocating sa pores or parang hinihigop lahat ng moisture na meron. For first impressions, I am very impressed dito sa powder. It looks really good the skin and true to its claim talagang blurring siya. This one is toast, yung darkest sa mga powder and subukan natin siyang ipang bronze. Piling ko kasi maganda yung kulay niya for that. Ooh, this one can definitely work as a matte bronzer. Di ba look at that and sobrang ganda ng undertone. For highlight, I'm using the Lucky Beauty Pressed Highlighter. This one is 499 pesos. It comes in 4 shades and 3 grams yung content niya. Packaging is absolutely cute. I love it. Super compact and slim. And once you open it, ganito siya inside. These are the complete swatches. And it looks so freaking stunning. Ilalagay ko na lang din sa screen yung video na may flash. It's kinda dry, I'm not gonna lie. But look at that, oh my god. Ito siya, as you guys can see, para siyang foil. First shade na subukan natin is si Bronzai, pang tip ng nose. Ooh. Actually, it's not as foiled kapag ka nakalagay na sa skin. Which is good, of course. Look at the glow, grabe. Hindi din siya sobrang powdery. Next shade is called Citrine. And this one, gamitin natin sa highest point ng cheek. Ito kasi yung shade na feeling kong pinaka-close sa skin ko. Look at that glow. It actually looks nice. Yun nga lang feeling ko, parang dark yung base nung product. Diba? Parang ang dark niya. I mean, it's not a bad shade. It's just that hindi siya match sa skin ko. Yun nga lang, yung problem kasi is we don't have any champagne colors sa collection. So, of course, we have to go with the closest. Again, formula-wise, I don't have anything negative to say. It's just that yung shade nga, hindi for my skin tone. Ito namang si Rose Quartz, ilagay natin sa lid. Yup. This is such a pretty eyeshadow color. Diba? Kung hindi siya mag-work as a highlight, then use it as an eyeshadow. Final shade is Moonstone. And for this, gagamitin ko siya sa inner corner. Boom. Wow. I think this can be my go-to inner corner brightener. Final product that we have is Lucky Beauty's Dewy Lip Stain. This one is 299 pesos and it comes in 6 shades. The actual component is really good but I feel like hindi siya pang lip stain. I don't know, I feel like yung mga packaging like this one, mas better siya sa mga mascara or kaya eyeliners. And yung reason kung bakit is because of course, hindi visible yung shade inside. Siguro kung clear yung bottom, better siya. But for a lip product, again, personally, not for me. And by the way, this one is plastic. And this is 
is how the applicator looks like. Super unique. This part is yung fluffy applicator and then on the other side naman, we have the silicone applicator. Sandwise to my nose, medyo may pagka vanilla. And for this yung mga claims is, uh, number one, it is non-sticky and comfortable to wear. It also says here that it leaves a soft wash of color with a glossy shine. Hydrating, the formula stains, and lightweight siya. Barely their feel. These are the complete swatches. Subukan natin yung silicone applicator. Mm. It's an okay applicator. <laughs> Doon tayo sa sponge. Better. This shade is definitely a must-have. This is Chance and I love it. I'm obsessed. Formula-wise, very similar sa Romand and also sa Choo Choo Beauty. Yung mga dewy tint nila, ganun. And for sure, alam nyo nung mahilig ako sa mga glossy lip products. Kaya this one definitely pasado sa akin. Next up, we have Kismet. And this one is a classic warm red shade. Medyo may pagka tomato red. Ito naman si Smitten kapag ka nakalagay sa lips. And para siyang berry mauve shade. And this one is nice as well. Initially, akala ko dark. But once you apply it sa lips, actually sheer. This one is Jupe. Another classic parang berry pinkish shade. And by far sa mga sinubukan ko, ito yung pinaka-pigmented. This one is Razzle and it is a plum shade. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan because I feel like it doesn't suit me. But for those of you who love plum shades, especially glossy tint, you might want to check this one out. And finally, we have Phyllis, which is sort of like a wine color. Color is actually nice. Yun nga lang, medyo patchy tong shade na to. Probably because it's dark. Tapos diba glossy pa? So yeah, for me, this one, maganda yung kulay niya. But formula-wise, again, sa lips ko, patchy. And just in case you guys are wondering kung nag-iiwan ba siya ng stain, yes po, nag-iiwan ng stain yung lip product. So definitely long-lasting. Overall, I'm really satisfied and I feel like sobrang solid nito for an initial release. Because number one, sobrang inclusive. Pagdating sa powder and concealer, you have so many shades to choose from. Even sa cream products, di ba? May pang maputi, may pang morena, may pang deeper complexion. Price-wise, I feel like yung powder lang and also highlighter yung medyo on the pricey side. But the rest, definitely very reasonable. For those of you na may hilig gumawa ng bushy brows or laminated brows, then this brow product is definitely Definitely a must have. I mean, for its price na 299 pesos, definitely does the job really well. Look at my brows, di ba? Bushy pa din and naho-hold niya talaga. It doesn't feel flaky, it doesn't feel crumbly, sobrang comfortable. These cream blushes blends like a dream. Again, emollient yung consistency niya, kaya kapag ka-inapply nyo siya, talagang parang nagme-melt sa skin. You have so many shades to choose from, it's easy to blend. And also, yung pigmentation niya, sobrang buildable. But to be honest, I feel like you don't need to collect all of the shades kasi sobrang dami. And for me, definitely, itong shade na Delicate yung pinaka may recommend ko kasi sobrang perfect for everyday and ang fresh lang ng itsura niya. Coco is nice as well kasi it can double as a cream bronzer. Dito naman sa concealer, okay siya if you're looking for something na perfect for everyday. You know, yung very lightweight lang and pang even out ng complexion. Formula-wise, I think closest dito is yung Fit Me. And again, they have nine shades kaya marami kayong selection or option. But yun nga, hopefully in the future, mag-release sila ng in between and also darker shades. Especially yung mga talagang appropriate for contouring, for bronzing. So, wala naman kayo masyadong imperfections this will be perfect. Pang clean girl vibes, ganun, minimal makeup. Etong powder, slightly on the pricey side, but I feel like it's worth it kasi nga, diba, talagang blurring siya and maganda yung itsura sa skin. Very lightweight and comfortable. Tapos in terms of coverage naman, in my opinion, this is a light to medium. Buildable siya. Highlighters, a little bit on the pricey side as well. And also, ayun nga, yung shades. But yeah, formula-wise, I don't have anything bad to say. I mean, it's not a special formula, but... Pwedeng-pwede nyo din kasi gamitin eyeshadow for the body. Yeah, basically, this is one of those products na definitely you can maximize the purpose. And finally, yung mga favorite products ko. For me, etong tatlo yung nag-stand out. Brow Grip, Dewy Lip Stain, and Powder Foundation. 